In this video, we're going to discuss decision structures, the second type of um, structures in programming, and their use of logical operations. For that, we're going to continue using this worksheet. If we wanted to define a piecewise function like, um, for example, the absolute value function, that absolute value function can be defined as uh, absolute value of x is equal to x if x squared is not equal to 0, or minus x otherwise. Well, we can do that in SMAS Studio by creating a function that we call my apps, parentheses, x, space bar, column. And then we're going to insert an if statement that's available right here in the programming palette. If here we're going to have a condition, and this con if this condition is true, then this uh, uh, operation will be executed, or otherwise this operation will be executed. So for this case, the condition is, is x greater than or equal to 0. I'm going to type here x greater than or equal to 0. And if that is the case, I report x, else I report minus x. And that's how I created this function. Checking it. My abs of 2 is 2, my abs of 0 is 0, my abs of minus 2 is equal to 2. The condition is true in this case, the condition is true in this case, the condition is false, so we go to the second uh, option. Now, the conditions in the if, mm, when we're dealing with numerical data, it's mostly comparison statements. Those comparison statements could be true or false. Here are some examples where, uh, when I use the equal sign here, I'm using the Boolean equal sign, which is, can be entered using control equal. And I put in parentheses, but basically I was saying, is 5 equal to 10 over 2? That is true. So I get a number 1. In logical operations in SMAS Studio, true is represented by the number 1, false by the number 0. You can have, like, is 5 not equal to 7 thirds? That's true. Is 5 greater than 10 thirds? It's true. Is 8 greater than 2 or greater than or equal to 2? True. Is 5 not equal to 10 over 2? False. They are equal. It's 5 equal to 10 thirds false. And so you get either a 1 or a 0 as true or false. These are also referred to as logical statements because they can get a logical value of true or false. And they can be combined using these symbols in the Boolean palette. The symbol correspond to the AND or conjunction, OR or disjunction, Exclusive or or ZOR, and this is for the case for where they're called binary operators because they need two uh, logical operations to to um, to form a result. Whereas the NOT, the negation, has is a unary uh, uh, operator because it only needs one logical state. To determine the possible outcome of these logical operations we use something called a truth table. To understand that, we're going to present here the truth table of the negation. The negation is this operator right here that appears in in the Boolean palette. If you put it, negation of 1 is equal to 0, negation of 0 is equal to 1. The equivalent, equivalent traditional version of this truth table is that the negation of true is false, the negation of false is true. Now, when we use a um, binary operator like and, or, we need to uh, combine all possible combinations of true and false. So, let's, uh, let's say our uh, um, logical statements are called P and P, Q, and so if we want to find out the truth value of P and Q, we find that both have to be true for the statement to be true. If one of them is false, then the statement is false. If both are false, then it is false. In SMAS Studio, the version will be presented like this. On the other hand, for the OR operator, uh, the conditions are such that as long as one of the two statements is true, the whole combination is true. If both are false, then it's the only situation in which the OR produces a full outcome. 
and this is represented in SMAS Studio with these combinations. Finally, we have the uh, exclusive operator. This is not as common as the other two, but basically what that means is that one of them has to be true and the other false in order for the statement to be true. So you're excluding one of the statements. And so when you have two truth or two false, you get false outcomes. And with that, you can proceed to uh, create more complex logical statement. Here are some examples. X not equal to 5 is equivalent to the negation of X equals to 5. The absolute value of X less than or equal to 5 can be expressed as minus 5 less than or equal to X and X less than or equal to 5. Absolute value of X greater than or equal to 5 can be expressed as X less than minus 5 or X greater than 5. And so that's how you can form more complex logical statements. For example, if you want to create the if statement corresponding to this piecewise function, you would start by saying, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna type f of x, sorry, f of x space by uh, space bar uh, column, and then go and click the if statement. And so the conditions are x less than negative 2, negative 2, space bar, space bar, space bar, or, we go and click the or right here, x greater than 2. If that is the case, we will type square root of x squared minus 1, else we type square root the x squared and that's how we create a uh, piecewise function using the if statement, using this as our condition for truth. Here's another expression, g of x is equal to sine of x, if x is between minus 4 and 4, which will be represented with this and statement. And if it is true, you get sine of x, else you get cosine of x. I have produced a, a plot of the two functions using the an xy plot uh, graphic to show the behavior of those functions. Now, in, in these two cases we had a single a condition and two uh, possible outcomes. If we need three possible outcomes like here, we can use a uh, nested if statement. And so basically you type an if statement, enter your condition here, I'm just going to type C1 for condition and then my I've gone F1, else, then I need to check two more conditions. So what I do, I include another if, and this is my second condition with the second possible outcome, and for by default, I got the third outcome. That's the structure that I use in here. This if is contained as the otherwise option for the first if, and so it's kind of like a hierarchy of ifs. This if is said to be nested within this one. With that, we conclude this presentation about um, conditional or um, uh, decision structures, and we're going to continue in the next video with repetition statements.